The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? The start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. Uh, I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I'm uh, Griffin McElroy. Hey, what's up? Uh, so, guys, this morning I was at the gym, uh, you know, the the Iron Temple, and uh, I got a message from our, uh, well, the executive producer. I mean, the producers all got together, uh, but from Mr. Jarmuson, and uh, they just sent over some studio notes. What was the name? Mr. Jarmuson. Jarmuson, did you say? Yeah, there's not as many vowels in it as you'd think. And uh, Mr. Jarmuson asked me to uh, just go over these with you real quick. So I figured uh, we always have a little time in the intro where we don't really say anything funny. So I just go ahead and get these out of the way here. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, Griffin, right off the bat, and they said that this is mostly a legal thing. Yeah. Uh, Now that you live in D.C., they've asked you to stop saying that you have a Texas size hunger for things. Oh you're man! Just, yeah, you're just not allowed <laughs> to do that. Fair. You can't do that anymore. Because, but I mean, the, my hunger was established in Texas. Like, I yeah. Have you seen the bowls of chili that they serve there? It's 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 fucking wild. And they're so just worried just, that at this point it'll be like yeah. a legal issue with the state of Texas. Um, but if I go back to eating these very small, trendy metropolitan bowls yeah. of chili, um, then with all their various beans in it, like it's not gonna. It's not going to fill me up. They made a suggestion. They said that you could say a honking big hunger. Okay. Uh, I like that okay. better, actually. Yeah. Okay. This uh, is Justin, why we, these producers, a lot of people shoot great. these things down. I think it's There's making us stuff. better. It's good to get an outside perspective. Uh, Justin, they said uh, they, they're loving your characters, obviously. Uh, it's yeah. a big hit in the studio. They said the lore isn't complicated enough. Um, oh. If you could, yeah, if you could develop a little bit more... <laughs> Uh, I've been, I have actually been deeming my own Taz arc. People don't realize. Oh, it's, within it's within my brother, my brother. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's a little ARG. It's a rich tapestry. Um, they said to me, oh, "God damn it, still not interrupting enough." And That's I don't know how much possible. more. Yeah, we and I told them. I said, people. "I hate that. I hate interrupting." Yeah, and, like, and you don't. Going. When we're it, this is what's fucked up too. When we don't record. Yeah, uh-huh. Travis is. Very patient, oh, yeah, and oh, yeah. always waits till someone finishes their thought, and then he gives it like five seconds of silence. Talking to Travis is interesting because then he'll be silent for like five seconds as he's like, "Let me think on that before I yeah. respond." Um, but but they don't like that for the show. No, Why? they said a lot of dead air that they're worried about. Um, yeah, so you can just always cut that out, though. Well, so they said we need to spend less money on editing, so we got to leave a lot more in. That was another thing on here. They okay. still want Rachel to do the same amount of work. But right, less okay. editing. They don't understand. Okay. They say put more in to edit out. I don't. I don't follow that one so much. Okay. Uh, let's see here. They said, "Oh, uh, more about our advertisers operating in defiance of God." They really like oh, that. That, that hit was really a hit. Well. wait, wait, wait. That was a hit. That was a big hit. They said both with advertisers and uh, our demographic of seven to twenty-eight. It really hit big wow. for the seven yeah. to twenty-eight. Seven-year-olds hate. God. Yeah. That's so, they also wrote that that one doesn't seem to be a note, it's just scrolled across the top of the email. Seven somehow. Hate God. Hate okay. God. Um they also said here not enough stunts. Okay. Um, How would we do that in an audio form? Do you yeah, feel? I tried to explain that to him and they said that's the best part because we could basically do we could say we're doing a stunt. 
I mean, we are recording. We do see each other on video now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fairly recently. Which you thing. know, which you know, which I think is so interesting that you do know, you do know that. Yeah, because you're watching it right now. Oh, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, no, you're the, we're supposed to be see. watching the video. I always do because I want, uh, I want to see the jokes come out. Uh, so, Griffin, <laughs> if you could just do a stunt now. Um, sure. I think they, they would really I got a appreciate. foam roller back there. Should I just pop my back real quick? Yeah, I think that. Roller? Yeah, I think for us that's a stunt. Okay. Oh, that's a thinner foam roller than I would, and it's on his butt. Is that? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! He's Whoa. doing it! Whoa! He's like, well, he's going off screen now, but it's that's like a is. neo. It's like a neo matrix oh. thing. He's dodging if those you guys bullets. Can see- if you guys could see him, uh, it looks like he's being bullied by an imaginary eighth grader. Yeah. <laughs> it's like making him lie on the ground. It kind of wow. looked like he was being bullied by an imaginary eighth grader who was shoving him over a smaller imaginary eighth grader oh, who had God, kneeled down behind him. So fucking good, though. I am an inch yeah. taller. I'm see? so ready for this. More jokes. stunts. Uh, they also said we hadn't done enough to incorporate the Chrissy Wake Up. Uh, like remix song that they okay, did from yeah. TikTok. They said TikTok integration in general has a TikTok so we integration could, is huge. We could reference days. the okay. kid who likes corn. Uh, um, Chrissy, wake up! I don't. The boy who's very upset about his table and is it being and it being broken. Yeah, people, that's when they are said if we could talking reference about that, that or more. well, they okay. said they just wrote here TikTok equals timeless. So oh, okay. apparently, it's counterintuitive, but okay. Apparently, the more we reference, the more timeless it will make our show. Can I give the producers a note? Yeah. Okay. Not okay. Normally, running, what was done running but... running a little long. Producers. The producers' notes. The, uh, yeah, they're going a little bit, bit long. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I don't just, think it's fair that this should just go one way. I just want them to know that it, it's well, the too one much. last thing. Just as far as TikTok integration goes, they missed the bit where we developed our own TikTok sound, where we each said one thing, and then people could okay. clip that sound to use it. So they wanted I remember us that to bit do not that. being a huge success. Well, but it was critically for the producers. Like within the producer okay. community. And I don't just mean ours. Apparently yeah. they got together with the other producers and talked about it and they loved it. That's fascinating. Okay. Okay. So Griffin, you go first and then Justin. Sure, then sure, sure, sure. Oh, my style? I guess you could say, ow! <laughs> okay, now Justin, say something <laughs> that quick. That actually is a good TikTok yes. sound. Now keep it going, keep it going, Justin. <laughs> I can't top Griffin's. His is so vibrant. It's full of life. That is true. Griffin, you want to give us another run at it? Yeah, sure. Hey, everybody. It's the summertime, and you know what that means. Oh, yeah. You guys remember SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah. That was the, don't interrupt the TikTok sound. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> You guys remember a little show called SpongeBob SquarePants? Well, here's a visual joke about that. Don't I look like one of the characters right now? <laughs> okay, I want to try one. I want to try one. All right. Hey, baby, what's going on? You want to come over to my house and check out this closet full of monkeys? And so no, I figured that could have, be. But it will be. It'll that. seem they like it's a thirst a trap. Maybe it's stuffies. How about that? How about like, how about like? Oh yeah, am I a real gamer? Just check out these stuffies. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. How about that? Like, uh, what do you? Uh, do I like Pokemon? Yeah, I guess you could say I like it a little bit. And then there's like a grand reveal of all their Pokemon. Can't, oh but yeah, you yeah, yeah. Talked yeah. right over it. How about like Gundam? More like Fundum. Okay, that one's good. That yeah. was a good sound. Yeah. Yeah. You, okay. Justin, you need to really hit it on one. Hit it. Hit us with a success. We've all. I think me and Travis have both crushed it on at least one. Yeah. And well, yours haven't. Okay. Oh, do something um, about ghosts. People love that shit. Um. Okay. Here. Okay. One of the regular players on whose lines it anyway? Yeah, I guess you could say I am. And then that TikTok sound could only be used by like. Colin Mockery, Mockery. I don't know. yeah, Ryan, uh, all the gang. So Ryan Styles on the ticket. Can, can you give us something like, "Oh, uh, that's a ghost," something like that, or it's just like something where it's just like the ghost reveal. Okay, like, I'm going to do a really generic. Okay, this is yeah, like a yeah, really, generic is better. Yeah, is really generic, generic people can use yeah. that. People can use that. That's uh, that's not how you do that. Wait, no, no, stop. That's not how any of this works. Please stop. Far enough. Stop it. You're killing him! 
Now, I did notice, Justin, that was great. I love that. Thank got you. less and less generic towards the end there. <laughs> That's the build. Oh, okay. God, I love that. I love that. Okay, well, we'll let that percolate uh, mm-hmm. for like a week. Uh, let that go viral. Now, Justin, the producers also said that they think you had a you story that, that you wanted the, to tell. You said that was the last producer bit. No, yeah, now yeah, I'm the producer. Segue. I was, oh, okay. Um, now, okay, good. Whew, it's so tough when we're doing bits. You know what I was mean? Was that a bit? It's, it's so tough. Well, it's just like high performance. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so tough when we're doing a bit. Yeah, I had to have some pre-workout just to get through it. You know what I mean? It's got wow, caffeine okay. in it. Oh, it makes my skin tingle, which isn't uh, normal, I don't think. That's fantastic. That's great, Trav. Um, so, uh, right. So, I just wanted to like s- say say this story that I wanted to tell you. Okay, uh, great. So, I, I love when people preface the story like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a little long, but hang with it. So, Dad texted me a, a little bit ago, a uh, few 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 days, and said, "Hey, he sent us all this picture of like Weird Al coming to the Paramount." Art Center, which is a beautiful venue. It's in Ashland, Kentucky, about 1,400 seats, if I had to guess. Uh, but which is smaller than Weird Al would normally play. So I was thrilled, right? He's, I don't think yeah. he's been to the Paramount Art Center before. So I'm like, okay, definitely gonna go. I look online, it's like basically sold out. There's two Shit. tickets left, maybe, for, for me and Charlie. Charlie did raise the point like, Weird Al was on your TV show. You guys are friends. I'm okay. sure he would well, want you to buy a ticket. I I'm like that to... those two things, one of them's true and one of them's not. It's like a door in the labyrinth of, he's he wasn't on, yeah. our TV show. He, wh- Why do you have to buy tickets, Daddy? You know Weird Al. And it's like, well, honey, it, Weird Al did appear on our television program, but I, we don't text, hon. So I just bought the tickets because I want to support Al. I've been yeah. a Weird Al fan. He's like the first guy I liked, right? Derek got me into him in, in you know my middle school years, and here we are. So- Show up to the c- concert. Uh, uh, Emo Phillips is opening. Are you kidding me? Whoa, Fuck off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just going to treat myself to a little emo who was far too funny. This is hysterical. So then I'm looking around. This place is packed. And it's packed with like a few people I could tell are like deep in the paint. And then a few other people who are like, remember Weird Al? And maybe, or maybe they're like season ticket holders and they're just like there, right? Because it's Paramount Art Center, it's part of a series. Weird Al comes out and he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Whoa. Um, yeah, I know. So Weird Al comes out and he says, I don't know if you all know, but this tour, we're only playing unpopular songs. <gasps> Yay. And the audience bursts into laughter. <laughs> oh, Al. You cut up. I can't believe. No, he's serious. I love that. This tour is no polkas, no parodies, just deep cut originals <gasps> that Fuck he is just yes. playing with his. Band. I would have loved that shit. So, this man is playing, this legend, this icon is playing. His heart out to a by design, by the way. None of this is unintended. The, 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 by this man is playing his heart out to a room full of septuagenarians who could not give less of a shit, stone faced, nothing from them. It is a room full of people that are so disappointed that he's not going to play beat it. And one thick king who was <laughs> a feasting. <laughs> him and two of his closest friends are gobbling it up. Are you really? You dropped the theme song to UHF on me. What? Get Holy the fuck out! Shit. Really? You're gonna give me? You're gonna give me a a a, a skipper Dan? The song <gasps> about the guy who's on the Jungle Cruise? You're doing Get your out. your Rage Against the Machine total pastiche. I'll sue ya. Thank you, my liege. Bless us. Sorry, sorry. Is this a extremely protracted harpsichord solo? P- really? For me? What from, a gift. F- can you, f- from Ruben Valtiero, is going to just stand up there for me, Justin McElroy, and do a harpsichord solo. What a blessing. Thank you, my liege. Bless bless us more. And what's what the, the important thing, I think, that I don't want to lose sight of, no one gets up. Yeah. No one leaves. Yeah. Even when he plays, 
He does one song that's not an original deep cut. I shit you not. It is All Right Now by Free. <laughs> what? Well, okay. He, just, he says, I want to do one cover. He says, All Right Now. Come on. Are you are you with or kidding? No one left because it's a fucking great band and a great songwriter with a lovely tapestry. My man closes. My man closes this show with Albuquerque. A 30 oh minute God. song. That is designed to irritate people. That is a so this is a song where the joke in the song, one of the jokes in the song is, I forgot where I was and I'm going to start over in the song. And it's designed to irritate people. That's the closer. Amazing. Thank you, Al. I guess I just wanted to say thank you, Al, right? Like thank, thank you, Al. You. Thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome to everybody in there who got to go out to the boneyard with me. My fucking middle school years of listening to the entire album. Yeah. Finally paying off. Thank you for this blessing, my leash. I do appreciate it. Thank the you. thing I love most about this, and there's so much to love about it, is that he also has the biopic coming out starring Dan Radcliffe. He is about to, and this is saying quite a bit, I think, be the most like mainstream well-known he's ever been. And he was like, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm actually going to do? Let me he said at one point, he said, I don't know if you heard, but I have a biopic coming out, which is wild. And I and we wrote a new song for it, which I would love to play for you here. So yes. everyone at that point is like, yes, yes, yes. Give it to us, King. Thank you. Some new material. Fantastic. Uh, they t count it off. Two, three, four. And then the song stops. The lights come up. And he says, but we can't. Because <gasps> the lawyers would get really upset about it. Yes, <laughs> yes, that, yes, yes, even yes, that he yes. yanks it away from you. He's like, he's so he Yankovic'd like, it away. Yes. Yeah, he Yankovic'd it right out of our. And then that's when he said, I have the theme song to my last movie, and I'll play that. And he played UHF. Fantastic. I love yes, it. Yes. Thank I you. I love that. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thank you, sir. It was, a, it was such a great show. What a talent. I, 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 I'm sure if he had known I was there. Yeah. He would have given a little. And yeah. if he and known who I was. And he would have brought you up, you think? And remember, if he had remembered, remembered that, that he had been, been on our show. show. Well, and if yeah. he had interacted with you in and the show and not just way. me. I'm yeah. sure he would have like, Justin, get up here. Anybody I'm going to do, my brother, my do, brother and me. let me be your hog, man. Get up here. I'm going to drop You don't love him. me anymore. Get up here. I'm, he did one more minute. Are you kidding me? Wow. One more minute? What a show. Um. Oh, the, I didn't even tell you the wildest part. Before Albuquerque, his 13 minute closer, my man does like an eight minute Doors tonal pastiche called Craigslist that has like a three minute long psychedelic freak out. We're just watching a bunch of 60 year old men on stage cranking out a Doors fantasy and Loving we're just it. along for the ride. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I asked Charlie, who is a, a, a something of a Weird Al fan, what her uh, favorite song in the whole show was because she didn't know any of them. And she said, my favorite song was the song where they did the flower colored lights that they were shining around the doors. Okay. That, <laughs> that one's the, for the kids. That was the highlight for the kids is we had some colorful lighting. Fantastic. If you can see this show, it is outrageous. Uh, you will, you will have such a good time. Anyway. That's my plug for, for weird. Yeah. Out. Hold on. I have to tell you the, the name of the tour of 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 this uh, uh of this particular tour is the uh unfortunate return of the ridiculously self-indulgent ill-advised vanity tour. That's good. That's my dream. I that's my dream. I hope to one day get up and just do unpopular bits. Oh, good I news. Like. <laughs> We've got a couple of those. Remember the Detroit show? Yeah, you remember uh, Star Wars? Yeah, but what if we could pay a bunch of thirsty noobs to just drink up, lap up our 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 uh our uh bonus material. Okay. So this is a, an advice show. Obviously. First piece of advice. Go see Weird Al on this tour. It's fantastic. So if you can get tickets. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Yeah. The next piece of advice is coming right now. I love car washes, specifically yep. the automatic ones that have all the colored lights and bubbles. I've always liked them. Now I'm living in a city and I don't need a car, so I haven't been through one. Is it weird to call an Uber and ask them to go through the car wash? I would pay for it, so it seems like a win-win. That's from Car Wash Conundrum in New York City. And I need, a, I need a second. Yeah, here's what's fascinating to me, right? Because this question is maybe one of the m most clear examples of the question, is it weird having a couple different connotations, right? Is it right. out of the ordinary? 
Yes. Yes. Definitely. Obviously, if it wasn't, that, you would not be writing right. us. You would. You knew. You knew that going in. I don't think that the average Uber slash Lyft rider uh, rider has done this. Is no. it weird to the point where the driver would say no? I don't think so. I think if you could chain it together with something else, right? That's I don't it. Th- it's, it. You can't just put car wash as your destination because then right. they'll drop you off at the car wash. It has to be like, a, oh, let me add a stop real quick. The car wash. Now, you do need to say something ahead of time or else it's going to sound like a nasty dig. Like, oh, yeah, oh do you mind if I add a stop point. really quick? Because your whip is so dusty. It looks like a, it looks like it just climbed out of a mummy tomb. Uh, that's going to be insulting. But if you get in the car and you're like, hey, I know that I put Trader Joe's in here as my destination, but I do want you to know that you have won the contest. The prize is a free car wash on me. And we'll go to one that's really far away. So we'll run that fair yeah. all the way the fuck up. And this is just for you. I don't think your car is very dirty. I decided I was going to do this before I saw your car. Um, but I'll so even get no like the rain. You have to no judgment. No judgment. Is there another way that you can fulfill this dark urge other than uh, ride sharing? Program? Well, I mean, the only other way I can think of is to go to an automatic car wash and then wait till you see someone get in line for it, and then you're like, "Can I hop? Hey, shotgun? Is it cool yeah. if I hop in?" I love this shit. This is my favorite thing, and I'm not gonna. I have no knife. I have I know no knife. I, I have do no have knife. this Rush album that I need you to crank up, and let's lean the seat backs, open up that sunroof, and let's enjoy the. Well, don't open it up. <laughs> Obviously, that would create a whole mess of problems. Hey, no. What? C L N R Y D. Clean ride. Okay. This is your app. Oh. This is your dream. Oh, disruption. This is your future. This is your destiny. It's like Uber. Uh-huh. But instead of coming to pick you up, I come to your house and I take your car through the car wash for you. I bring it back. You didn't have to do anything. That's you call good. Clean Ride, I'll be at your house. I'll take your car. I'll wash your car for you. I'll bring it back. You pay me. Now, Justin, You're, here's my what? worry. This is too There's good. no worry. It's actually No, this perfect. is a really good idea. Too yeah, good for our show. It's great. Clean Ride. I'm worried about publishing this and someone drinking our milkshake on it because this is a good app is, that could really this, disrupt it. This show is not about money, Travis. What? This, as our as our as our um, several minutes of promotional materials at the end of every episode will attest, we don't care about money. No, we care about ideas yeah. and furthering the human experiment, and that's what we're achieving with Clean Ride. You're we're like the call- Socrates of podcasts. You could be at a position where you've given us all your personal information. And yeah. paid us. You've bought like we call them. We call them ride bucks. I don't want you to just pay in the app. You have to buy ride bucks, and you can buy them at like any Dunkin'. Um, any Wait, DC is this like station. paper money? <laughs> no, it's like a virtual. It's you like a to, cyber currency. Have, okay, we don't want Apple is, to take a cut. Is right? it crypto? No, <laughs> no, you can't use crypto. We don't want Apple to take a cut, so it's a different phone from yeah. your regular phone. Oh wait! And, so you okay? So you buy a phone loaded with ride bugs? Is that what's yeah. happening? You ever you remember like Cricket Cricket Wireless? Like yeah. I don't think they're still around, but they probably do have a bunch of phones. So we'll use those, and those are now Clean Ride or um, Soapy Boys. Uh, yeah. Clean Ride feels a little antiseptic to me. I'm worried that it's not going to in- engender trust mm. in people. Mm. Oh, or, okay. But mm. Soapy Boy, Soapy Boy, like mm. let me call my Soapy Boy uh, and whip get, washers. Get, Soapy yeah. boys better. So, it's, it's Soapy I think we, boys. I feel like it's a gendered thing, Griffin. That's gonna get in the way. Where whip washers? That's universal. Well, that's a that's too hip, though. Only the Gen Z people will know what a whip is. Oh, Travis, you're right, come you're on. Right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, you're let's right, maybe right. clean ride. Let's see how that sticks. So we'll go. You go to a Dunkin' or a BP, and you get a clean ride phone that you yeah. can. You can't. Now listen. You'll just use. It doesn't make calls. You can use it to summon clean ride, but. You can recharge it. Oh, it's with reusable. New more ride bucks three times. Yeah. Three times. Three can times I jailbreak? Can I jailbreak it and get some emulators going? Or you what's can, up? but be careful because it does not have uh, at th- this iteration. Yeah, it does not have charging capabilities on mm. the on the on the. So when you say phone. recharge it, you mean reload it with money, not. 
Well, they have those special more. European outlets at Dunkin's, and that's yeah. what you need. You the do phone so wait, is there a tie-in with Dunkin' here? I'm confused. I'm just picking something that there's a lot of, right? We yeah. could do Dunkin', we could do uh, bank. Like, um, Orange the Julius, the bank, anywhere that you might see a Tesla charger. Fire yeah. state, firehouse, fire station. Firehouses, anywhere people go a lot to shop yeah. or, or commute, yeah. whatever. Park. Um, Park so that's tree. your business. That's like a free business idea from 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 me to you. You can just do whatever you want with that, no problem. Um, that hey, was close because we... that was almost a good business idea, but we ruined it. So yeah, we really drove it on the ground. Um, so, so I have a wizard that I, well, the wizard sent sent me this. Well, Lucia sent me this one. It's a wizard wisdom, and I would love to read it all to you. It is from the WikiHow service. Um, it's from uh, dating coach uh, Imad Jabara, and uh, it is, uh, what does stink mean in a relationship? Did your oh. partner call you stink? And now what? you're scratching your head trying to make some sense of it. It's reasonable if you're a little lost on this one. Stink isn't a super popular nickname. So it's fair that you'd be looking for help here. That's where we come in. Wait, is it like an ironic thing? Like calling a big guy tiny or calling mm, a clean person sticky? I mean, we'll get to that. Um, okay. That's where we come in. In this article, we're going to break down what this means. We'll also cover all the other ways someone might use stink in a convo. So you know each and every way this word can be used. Okay. But it is just, stink, that form of the word is just a noun, right? Um, it's also a verb. It's both things. You stink. Okay, yeah, I guess. So what does it mean if your partner calls you stink? In a relationship, your stink is like your boo. This isn't a very common phrase, but if your partner calls you their stink, it's sort of a sweet nickname, like babe, love, or sweetheart. There's a slight hint of teasing with stink that isn't there with other nicknames, but it's almost always meant in good fun. For example, your partner might say, you know you're my main stink, right? I could never <laughs> love anyone else. Oh my God, yes. This is Melissa. She's my stink. Hey, Stink, you want to cuddle and watch a movie tonight? Uh, use Stink the same way you'd use any playful pet name. Uh, if you want to use Stink as a nickname, you'd use it the same way you use any cute flirty name for your partner. Just keep in mind this isn't a crazy popular slang term, and your partner may not take it the right way if they've never heard it used this way before. You might say, hey there, Stink, what's going on? You're my favorite love bug, my cute little Stink. Stink! Want to order a pizza tonight? Mm. Hey, Stink! Stink! It's, it's used that way. Out of context, even in a obscure context, where I feel like it borders on the insult. Now, I looked it up on Urban Dictionary because about 18 times this article has already said that it's not a common thing. And I'm like, is it common in the way that it's zero? And I looked it up. But now here's where it could get confusing. Okay. On Urban Dictionary, it says it's an affectionate name for a close friend or relative. Wow. So you two are my stinks. Right, so if I said, this is my stink, Melissa, Melissa might be like, I thought we were we more were than closer. stink. closer, I thought we were more than stink. I thought we were fine. Are we just stink to you, Derek? Because uh, Derek, we've been intimate. This next tip sucks. Ask your partner what they mean if you aren't sure. Oh well, no, that's not, that's, that's defeating the whole purpose. Though I would say, I would love to avoid if someone said, you stink, and I said like, I love you too, and they're like, no, you stink like shit. Right? A, that would be, I would like to avoid that. That's a good rule for all relationships. If you don't understand what the person that you are in a relationship with is saying, it's really important that you not ask them yeah. to clarify or expound on it. Because- yeah. Well, this is an article that's, that's prove, like- well, oh, I'm sorry, Griffin. I'm, I've been married for a really long time, so I'm kind of giving okay. like some gold. Um, you do. If it. you ever ask your partner to clarify their feelings or like explain how they're feeling or ask any questions, then you're that's like a sign that you're not communicating well. So you're yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just understand it, if you just understand it without asking any or questions pretend about it, you understand or it, right? You understand it to save the relationship. That's I mean, um, most of a good relationship is pretending, pretending, right? We can all agree. You pretend. Constantly. I don't right. think this is good advice. You don't think so? Like if your it's partner depends. says you stink and you're like, I love hey that. guys. I don't love that, but I'm pretending. Hey guys. Yeah. Stink normally refers to a bad odor. Oh. Okay. All right. A lot of this is really stacked. Okay, up for it's me opened then. up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get up. A stink might also refer to a tantrum or outburst. If someone's raising a stink or causing a stink, it means they're making a lot of noise. Giving I, someone I was going to refute that until you gave the examples where I was like, I've never heard someone say, wow, they're really throwing a stink over there. But yeah. now I do want to start saying that. 
this it's trying to become more grounded this article here toward the back half um, except for this next part giving someone a stink might refer to an attitude or a mean look ever hear of the stink eye it's a term for the look someone does when they're annoyed and want you to stop whatever you're doing for it's example, also a very could... serious illness that we don't talk enough about, frankly. Yeah. Like, we talk Sucks. a lot about pink eye, but not enough about stink Not enough eye. stink eye, same cause, but one smells pretty bad. Some folks abbreviate that to stink. No one does that. No. Are you mad at me for something? You were giving me the stink from across the room all night. <laughs> Oh, that is a good way to diffuse an argument, though. Because you're going to say that, and they're going to be like, wait, hold on. All that aside, what? What did you just say? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Did you just say I was giving you the stink? Give me the stink. And then last tip is it says some shit about pheromones. But I think the most important thing is that we all need to be using this word a lot more because it's very powerful. Stink is such a great word. Like, I wish I'd been there the first time that something would smell bad. And somebody's like, this stinks. And everyone would look at them like, yes, yes. yes. That's the word. We love this. I know exactly what you mean by that. I know what you mean by that. Do not define it. Do not explain it. I will know our relationship is in trouble. But then some woman looks at her husband and is like, I don't, that's what we use. That's the word we use. (laughs) We can use it for both. People will get it. People will understand. If you had been there, you could have been, you could have sprinted home and been like, honey, stink. (laughs) And you'd be like, what? She's like, no, I heard it today. It's yeah. a great word. Out. He's like, does it mean something smells bad? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right? Stink. The same guy also said puke. That's like when the stuff comes out of your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You yes. got it. The wet mouth poop. Yes. It's yes. Yes. Puke, puke. It's puke now. I love that. <laughs> We're going with puke. I love this Victorian garbage pail kid that you guys have envisioned. Yeah. I've been calling it vomit. No, no, no. Too clinical. We're going with puke. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Not dick glue, jizz. That's what. That's <laughs> oh, that's fun, and I can that's use these Z's in Scrabble. Finally, <laughs> I was gonna go with cum, but that sounds like it could get so confusing so often that Absolutely. I don't even know why we decided to to even flirt with that idea. Because it's well, stinks. a sixth grader suggested it because they wanted to giggle in class. Yeah, but I think jizz. No one's gonna use jizz. Hey, it's me, George Lucas. Damn it! Damn it! Uh Okay, how about another question, brothers? Is that is it time for a question? Or is it, no, God, we've been recording for so long. We got to stop the the fun to do other close. different fun, different fun, and uh, take a trip to the money zone. Hooray! Is that a, is that a Honey, yeah, stink. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I want to tell you about honey. Listen, I'm not going to joke. There's no jokes here. I'm not going to joke. I'm going to be very serious. I'm going to use my big boy serious voice to tell you that today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. You guys know about this? You hear about this? Hey, do you hear about this in the news? You put honey on your computer. Now I know what you're thinking. Pour honey on my computer? No, you silly billy goat. I said no jokes. Honey... Is something you download onto your computer or phone. Don't pour honey on your phone. Take it from me. It's a mistake. It's a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your online cart. What do you guys think? Sound good to you? Absolutely. Why are you asking? Why? Yes. Why are you? A- of course it's good. Well, I was just trying to get you guys engaged. I'm doing all the work just over Just do here. the ad, Travis. Okay. Just wow. do it. Okay. When you check out, the honey button appears. Faster! The honey button appears, and all you have to do is click apply coupons and watch prices drop. Honey doesn't just work on desktop. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. I know you're wondering, when I click the honey button, doesn't it make my finger sticky? And my answer is, stop being such a fucking prude. Like, live a little. Try some, try some new stuff out. Now, Griffin, you love honey. You used honey to buy your weird paraphernalia for your body in your home, right? Um, yeah, I think I actually used it to buy my foam roller that I just used earlier. I got a Whoa. sick got a sick fucking deal on it. Hell yeah, um, dude. And I got a skateboard that what? I bought nice. with it. Yeah, I bought nice, a sk- uh, skateboard and honey got me a bunch of money off it. 
And then I got, I didn't, you know what I didn't buy though? A helmet, because I never crash. Uh, Whoa, all uh, right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, if you don't already have honey. So I've been you, sketching okay, okay, great. on buses, and I sketched a bus all the way to the White House. And then, um, and then so you I went did, on a date with the president's daughter. And it ruled. I went on a date with the president. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Honey, I got a discount skateboard I sketched all the way to the White House, and then I, can I say I fucked Joe Biden? <laughs> There's a lot of people who seem to want out. to. Yeah. A lot of people okay. say that, and they say, and but I don't think they mean it in a God, good way. coming to theaters, Griffin, let's make a movie called My Date with Joe. And it's just like, yeah. com- you and Joe on a completely platonic, just like, living in well, a Assumed platonic. I do think there platonic needs to be a conversation at some point where the sparks start flying, and it's like, what? Is, what are we? He's are we president. stink? Is this stink? Hey, is this stink? I've never experienced it... stink before. Is this stink? Is this stink? What am stink? And uh, so, if you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com/brother. That's joinhoney.com slash brother. I had to mail a letter the other day. <laughs> Gross. Uh, what is and, this, Paul Revere times? And I went and I was like, where are the stamps? Where are the stamps? We just moved. Did we pack up stamps? And then it turns out that we uh, did. And so I got them out of where we had uh, kept them. And I put it on the letter and I sent it off. But for a minute there... I thought we didn't have stamps, and I was confronted with this possibility I would have to go to the post office. Relatable. Hashtag relatable. You don't don't need to say that. Hashtag. Um, Found sign. Found sign relatable. And the holidays are sneaking up on us. Stamps.com. Has has told us in the copy. I guess it is. Are we on that Christmas creep here in August? Because that yeah, feels ex- that feels excessive. Um, I guess I smell the pine in the air, and you're gonna have to send off a lot of shit, and that means post office trips basically every day, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants to do that. So stamps.com is like a twenty four seven post office you can access from anywhere. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. You get access to the USPS and UPS shipping services you need to run your business right from your computer. And Hell yeah, hashtag blessed. And rates are constantly mm-hmm. changing. With stamps.com switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know you're getting the very best deal every time. Hashtag Get Chrissy, wake up. Travis, the hashtag, <laughs> the joke that you don't understand how fucking hashtags work is so busted, dude. It's, <laughs> it's so really fucking busted. Hashtag it's embarrassed. like, no, no, listen, 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 listen. It's like fucking late night with Jimmy Fallon fucking 2009. <laughs> hashtag that, no, no, shut up. It's, 30, it's a 13-year-old fucking joke. It sucks. Do you understand that? Even though it hasn't come back around to the other side yet. You, What's it? Well, hashtag with the f- hashtag hash browns. Stop that! <laughs> it's working on me. The bad news is, if I keep laughing, he's gonna keep doing it. So I gotta rein it in. Get a get ahead of the holiday chaos this year. Get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code my brother for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the page and enter code my brother. This week, the greatest discovery becomes Greatest Trek. That's because Greatest Trek is for way more than just discovery. We're the hit show on Maximum Fun that covers all the new Star Trek shows. Lower Decks, Strange New Worlds, Picard, Prodigy, Discovery, and any other Star Trek show Paramount throws at us. Come check it out for our funny and formative recaps of all the new stuff this Star Trek industrial complex churns out. It's in your podcatcher every Tuesday. Subscribe to Greatest Trek... It's a new Star Trek podcast from the makers of The Greatest Generation. Hey there, it's Annabelle Gerwich. And I'm Lara House. We host Tiny Victories, the 15-minute podcast that's about the little things. Getting into the tiny victory frame of mind is about recognizing minor accomplishments and fleeting joys. Isn't it a wonderful day when the first password you try actually works? 
when it's freezing cold outside and toasty as all get out in my shower. My tiny victory is that I turn off the water and get on with my day. We can't change this big dumb world, but we can celebrate the tiny wins. So join us on Maximum Fun or wherever you listen to podcasts. Let's Let's get get tiny. Give me another question, J Man. Oh, okay. unless you have one of your classic bits. Here Deliver comes another me a here question, comes a classic question, Justin man. bit. I had a classic. I had a classic story. Next next week, I think we will finally be. I've been on pins and needles over here on PSL Watch, and I do just as a public service as of um, August twenty fifth, Anno Domini twenty twenty two. There is no pumpkin spice date. Yet, yeah, I'm. It could be okay. any minute, though. I mean, Mike, I'm refreshing this page because that'll be a huge event. Um, but we're not there yet, so let's just do questions. I recently started a new job as a vet tech. Things are going well, or so I thought. This morning, I brought no. in a beautiful homemade peach pie to share with my coworkers, and no one had any. I told Fuck. people I made it to share, and I took the first piece. Okay, that's one. Yes, you did the yep. exact right first thing. To indicate to. that it's open for business. Have to. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. people will assume it's a gift <laughs> for a friend. No one even picked at the perfectly flaky crust. What? Never being faced with leftovers before, I left my almost full pie dish and serving knife there in the break room. I have the next two days off. Do I go back for my pie? Do I wait and hope someone mercifully tosses it while I'm gone? Should I put in my You can't weeks? wait. You have to go back to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's weeks? true. Can I, can I put it like two weeks? Because I never felt such rejection and don't know how I will recover. That's from Peach Perplexed in Peoria. This is a fucking good question. This this is a good one. I like this. Don't one. quit over this. Don't, don't quit. quit. In this economy, there's a it's, there's never been a better time to quit. So that what? is bad. Really? That is actually bad. Advice. Oh, okay. Um, um, first of all, let's just say vet tech is a very important job, obviously, but is not as like like cyberpunk as it sounds, which That's is unfortunate. True. That's true. Like yeah, you're not making someone, robo dogs. When I hear vet tech, like I want someone to put like a you know a, a hacker deck inside of my cat's forearm or something yeah, like that. I, yeah, um, obviously. So that's uh, that is disappointing to me from this from the start. My I guess my next question is a a peach pie mm. is um is a gooey a lot. It can be a lot of work. Yes. So did you pre did you pre slice the slices because that's a big issue for me of like am I gonna slice a really small piece and people look at me and be like what's wrong with your small piece of pie I bet you have a small wiener too yeah. or something like that it's weird how or if you make too big a to slice that. of pie yeah, they're like big pie for pie. a big wiener boy yeah um, save some for the fish and I'm like. Why? Um, How would you say that? <laughs> did you have plastic cutlery or real cutlery and like plates set out? Like you need to re- remove every barrier between your coworkers and having pie in their mouths. You're a hundred. You uh, the ideal can. for a pie, if you're bringing in a share, a pie is a yeah. rough one. A pie is real yeah. rough. I mean, oh, even cookies. a cake. Cookies are an cookies, obvious one because they're great. individual. Yeah. Uh, tiny pies. Tuss. Uh, if Tiny you want to go that route, pies. but like it's really hard with a pie because there's a lot going on. First off, in its ideal design, a pie feeds eight, right? You should, okay. I mean, it depends on how big. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. As designed, the perfect pie slice is one eighth of the pie, right? Pie so, is actually stands for eight. It's a, it's like Greek. It's the Greek number for pie. Nobody's gonna. Okay. Nobody wants to be the first. Like you took a slice out. That's huge. Perfect. But it's really hard. If you just see a pie there and it's like, are there plates? I'm looking around. Are there Where's plates? The plate? Are there forks? Is it sliced? It's... I mean, I think in a future scenario, you can help yourself by being like, hey, can I cut you a slice? Oh, Anybody that's nice. Pie? A little can thirsty. Can I get you one? Maybe. A little. Well, yeah, listen, a little, a little thirsty. Right. But especially if you're new, there is also, I will say this. If you bring in baked good from home, there's a chance that it is. Not good. No, no. I'm not saying yours is yours good. is good. yours is good. But yours Travis is, is good. saying that 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 home baked goods right. can be gross. And so I think you do need to be a little thirsty to get the ball rolling. Now I will also say this question asker. You didn't uh-huh. ask this, but as someone who likes to bake and would often bring baked goods in when I worked at the theater, you do need to be careful because if it's good, 
now it's gonna, and you do it like twice. I think you set a precedent of them being like, are you gonna bring in another pie? When are we gonna get some yeah. more of that pie? Huh, do you do cake Pies too? Oh, I'd love, be too and good. it's gonna be a thing of like, I miss when you used to bring in pie. And it's just like, that was one time one five time. years ago. And you could get now. like, a, eventually people start to t make you into a character. I've had this mm. of like, oh, He's a fantastic baker. Justin's a fantastic baker. Wait till you try these. And I'm like, no, they're garbage, actually. I hate yeah. these. Yeah. I hate these. I, I hate did a these. shit job on these. And these are shit. And they made Look him, at the crust. And they made him wear a big white chef hat <laughs> at the office and speak yeah. with a French, speak French accent and French words. Um, and he wasn't good at that part of it. And so Justin stopped baking entirely never, because they wanted sense. him to, they said, be the ghost from Ratatouille. And, yeah. um, and Justin was like, I don't want to be the ghost from Ratatouille. Um, no, you mean Gusto. Next time, Which, next time way, here's what you do. You make some yeah. of my world famous caramel snack mix. And nobody, yeah. if anybody wraps their lips right, you guys have tried it, right? It yeah, but is that underneath. a bowl people are reaching their dog hair covered hands into, Justin? Yeah. You have a scoop and tiny bowls, Travis. Even that, I, I will also say, uh, I've worked. Is it, this going to be funny? Well, it was a dog grooming it. place. Are you going to tell about dog the hair was a anal juices? Okay, dog no. hair and peach pie is actually a thing, right? This is what like, I said. If I'm, if, if I'm tending to a... A, 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 a diuretic emu, for example, who's just like big, tall bird shitting everywhere. And you're like, do you want some yeah. pie? It's like, look at me. I got my look hand up me. a rhinoceros's asshole trying to impregnate This is it. escalating. This it is went from cool dog hair zoo. to emo to fisting a rhinoceros. Not emo. E emo Phillips is fine and he does not need me to impregnate him. He if goes to you, a however, person Well, he doesn't doctor. need you to, Justin. But that I doesn't mean he doesn't. You, I would love <laughs> to bear your children. That's fantastic. He's gonna be heartbroken when he babies. finds out about we when he finds out about the vasectomy. He's gonna be so sad. Man, you if you all could see this, did you? <laughs> you had a vasectomy. <laughs> if you all could see how pleased Justin looks with himself and uh, realizing how good he is at this emo Phillips impression, you all would it's be. It's always thrilling when you find that you have one. Yeah. you didn't know and when you, you have, have a good one, one inside like, you. He's there. Yeah. Yeah, we need we need. Well, I'm also just realizing that Taco, in addition to my friend Michael Beck, is heavily emo is Phillips very inspired. Emo yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, even a cobbler, a cobbler, cobbler. A co you can't say, fuck bring up him in, the let serving him fix size of a cobbler. Shoes up. Oh, I see. All you've right. got a patch in mm. your loafers. Allow me All to right. cobble them. Wow, Justin, you're busting yourself <laughs> up today. I was just thinking about opening a cobbler, a cobbler shop. <laughs> It's 2022. Just like bring your old beat down Nikes and I'll take them apart as they well, disintegrate in my hands. What you do is you got you got shoes on one side and like baked goods on the other. You're selling cobblers, you're cobbling, you're cobbling cobblers, you make cobbler shoes. I love it. Now I will say this. Here's the catch twenty two, by the way, in case anyone gets the same impulse to bake a pie for a new workplace. Buy a dozen donuts, it will be a way bigger hit and way less effort. And that sucks because you should get it rewarded for like, I suck. worked so hard on this pie and great. But a dozen donuts will be a way bigger hit. And that's just, this, you can the say way you made a term for it. Like, if you are somebody who does a hobby that you share with people, like, um, this happens with woodworking all the time. If I make someone a woodworking gift, they will never display the amount of gratitude I need them to do to. Correct. Uh, 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 account for the literal dozens of man hours that it took me to like make this thing right and baking is the same way you gotta make it cause you love it cause no one's gonna honor that time that you've spent on that in the way that you want to do no way. it could be they, you could have got it at Kroger they don't know they don't know that you hand unless, unless they do and if they definitely do then maybe it's time to go back to pie school a different workplace yeah I think your original instincts may have been right on this one yeah, we we came back around to it, but you're right. You have to yeah, you should just find quit. a easy find an easier job for real. Like, Sell your it, pies on Etsy or something. People are doing that left and right. Yeah, are they? Can I buy a pie on Etsy? Hold on, guys, I gotta go. I think you uh, buy whatever hey, you this want. Is, on Etsy, I man. really want to do this one briefly. I got super I high. Bought a and, gun, I bought a gun on Etsy. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got super high. Do you guys want to hear about my Etsy? It says "Live, Laugh, Love" on it, and it's got <laughs> seashells glued to it. I got super high and decided to reach out to people I hadn't talked to in a long time. The question actually says, I decided to reach out to you people I hadn't talked to in a long time, which is like, you did not reach out to us. I would have remembered this. 
Um, I was feeling good about myself, but when I woke up, I realized I hadn't given an explanation, just a single word, hey, around midnight. Nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Is there any way I can up. fix this? Most of these people I hadn't talked to in over five years. Was profoundly did they respond? In Portland. that They did not clarify if there had been any responses. Now, I... I, I I can uh, say remember I mentioned Derek earlier. Haven't taught he was somebody I knew as a child. Have lost. He touch clogged with. real good. He was an amazing he a clogger. clogger. I brought him to church camp once. They set up a stage and he clogged to Janet Jackson's "If" at my church. Come on, fucking anyway, hell! It was so yeah, fucking fresh. Anyway, I haven't talked to Derek in ten years, but I was at this Weird Al concert, and then I um uh got later on that evening. I was I got you know a little elevated as one does. And uh, yeah. I said, like, I got to get elevated, Justin. Yeah. Elevated. Well, no, Travis, that makes it sound like the Weird Al music got Justin completely fucked up. Um, no, I got him did, part of the way there. Did. Um, but then I got home and I was like, I, I was a little bit. And I was like, so I sent Facebook message. It's like, hey, just wanted to see how you're doing. I went to a killer Weird Al show tonight. I mean, I didn't realize until after I sent it that a lot of typos was 1145 yeah. at night. Also have never sent him a Facebook message or anything else before ever and was casually talking to him as though we had texted earlier that morning. Uh, but then? No response. Oh. That <laughs> <laughs> sucks. Still trying to find him, actually. Can't find can't find old Derek, but I'm sure he's out there somewhere. Um, well, this is not an invitation this for is not an invitation. our audience. Please to don't try to. You could then text him again like, I said, hey. I right? said, hey. Double he's down right. on it. Hey is the worst. Hey, a uh, hey at midnight. God oh, almighty. Man, it's what just a as bad boner. as it could be, eh? It's as bad as it could be. Cause there, there's no read on that that is flattering to you. <laughs> like the best <laughs> read on that like, is I'll like. Consider it. I'll consider it. Yeah. Hey at yeah. Midnight. Especially there's the context of the time. It was like 5 p.m. It could be like, maybe they just had a question. Maybe they just had a question specific for me and they wanted to see if this is still my number. Midnight? They're high. The best case for you, or they think you got hacked, is oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that's, and that's best case for you. And maybe this is a good way for you to get your foot in the door, oh. is, you know, uh, 72 hours later, you text them again, just like, hey, I got hacked, um, so don't click on that, hey, yeah. this isn't, this. it's not hey, gonna- You know the problem with that? It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Oh, okay. Hey. It's a fib. About the, sit, text them this. This is I my, got this, hacked by uh, High Travis. I, weed hacked my body. Hacked my body <laughs> Maybe contact you. Like, hey, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I sent you a random. Hey, I was extremely high, but I did miss you. That part was earnest. I hope you're well. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, Justin, take it a little bit. Say I got contact high, and when they're like, "What?" I'm like, well, that's when I got high and I contacted people, <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a good joke. <laughs> that's a good joke. And That's, now you're like, you're back in it, right? The room's warm. The room's warm. I love it. Um, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. Uh, my brother, my brother and me is the name of it. Um, uh, it's every Monday and it has been for time over immemorial. A, a 12 years, something like that. Oh, okay. A little over 12 years. So thank you for continuing to support us. Travis, what we got going on, bud? What we got cooking out there? Uh, well, I, I think the most exciting thing is this weekend we're going to be in uh, in Atlanta for Dragon Con. Uh, you can get all the details uh, at bit.ly slash McRoy Tours. We have the whole schedule up there. Uh, we have events starting on Friday and going through Monday. Uh, there's like, uh, we're doing like photos and signings. We've got panels, uh, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Uh, we're also like, uh, Rachel's going to be there. Teresa's going to be there. Uh, dad's gonna be there. It's gonna be all kinds of stuff. So check that out. Bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. And a lot of those, the photos, by the way, I believe you have to pre-purchase. So go check that out now and get that done. We also have uh, the schedule that you can, you know, like take a screenshot or save or whatever over at the McElroy Family social media accounts, which is at the McElroy Family on Instagram or just McElroy Family on Twitter. Uh, we got some cool merch. Uh, the Garrow plushie and the If God's Not Dead, How Do You Explain These Games shirt. And 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to the Center for Reproductive Rights. All of that at macroymerch.com and more. Uh, we got pre-orders for the Taz 11th Hour open now. Uh, just go to theadventurezonecomic.com and pre-order that. 
Uh, the 20 Rendezvous Fancy Takes Flight Tour. Tickets for all shows are on sale now at bit.ly slash McElroy Tour. We've got the shows coming up in San Jose on September 29th and 30th. That's the Adventure Zone and My Brother, My Brother and Me, respectively. And then on October 1st, we're going to be in Denver doing My Brother, My Brother and Me. And then we got November shows in Washington, Detroit, and Cincinnati. Mask and proof of full vaccination or negative COVID test within 72 hours of event start is required. Thank you to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You. Montaigne's got a new album coming out, I believe, later this week, September yeah, in like 2nd. Yeah, like three days. Yeah. Called Making It, uh, that you can pre-order now. Get yourself a, a, a some merch with a, a dope-ass design on it and get a great fucking album for you to bounce to. Uh, do not sleep on it. Uh, so get that, and that's it, right? Thanks to Maximum Fun, too, for having us. That's it. Uh, uh, now we just need Griffin to give us, like, uh, an inspirational quote yeah. to kind of roommate it on. Is that what we decided last time? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're going to inspire It is? Everybody. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, just something off the top of your head that's, like, inspirational to millions of people. Okay. Twist it up tonight. You think you can't, but can you? <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McRoy. I don't know what Twisted Up Tonight sounds like it could be. <laughs> it actually sounds like the beginning of a Bop It game. <laughs> this has been my brother, my brother, when he gets your dad square on the lips. Twisted, twist it. Bop It Tonight. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported. You order now. Get yourself a, a, a some merch with a, a dope ass design on it and get a great fucking album for you to bounce to. Uh, do not sleep on it. Uh, so get that. And that's it, right? Thanks to Maximum Fun, too, for having us. That's it. Like, uh, now we just need Griffin is. to give us like uh, an inspirational quote yeah. to kind of roommate it on. Is that what we decided last time? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're going to inspire It is? Everybody. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, just something off the top of your head that's like inspirational to millions of people. Okay. Twist it up tonight. You think you can't, but can you? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McRoy. I don't know what Twisted Up Tonight sounds like it could be. <laughs> it actually sounds like the beginning of a Bop It game. <laughs> this has been my brother, my brother, when he gets your dad square on the lips. Twist it. Twist it. Bop It Tonight. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.